Before we get this video started, guys, let's go over our channel partner, and that's Mint Mobile. Right now, they're hooking it up, guys. Just for you guys, for being members of the channel, they're hooking it up. Make sure you use that link down below, and it's the premium unlimited plan. It's going to be as low as $15 a month, slash $45 for three months, guys. Normally, it costs $90. The promo that they give us but they're hooking it up they're giving it to us for half off why don't you use that link down below and that's going to let them know that low sent you and let's get this video started thank you for tuning in to another video on the channel guys guess what we got here in this little package right here so we just ended up getting this in the mail today you already know let's see let's take it out of the bag and let's unbox it let's see here As you guys can see, this is the brand new Verizon gateway right here for the N77 C band. It does not have millimeter wave access on this one. If you need millimeter wave access, I would recommend you uh, getting the LV65. As you guys know, I have a video on that unit, reviewing that unit. We're gonna have to do long-term review on some of these units, but this is what the unit looks like right here. It has two ethernet ports power plug USB-C there you go and the model number on this one is let's see here I'll give it to you guys real quick it is uh, let's see here it says the FCC ID NKR dash LV 6513 so or NXR dash LV 65 C dash 13 so there you guys go Let's get this thing set up and activated. You already know we have to use my Verizon app, so we'll get that going. I already got a notification saying your order has arrived. So let's get this going and we'll be right back. All right guys, so we got it set up. As you guys see, here's the gateway. Make sure you go into these settings right here. Once it's set up under your my Verizon app, and what you want to do is you want to change one setting if you want Wi-Fi 6E. I don't know why it's acting up now. Of course, it always has to. Come on. Okay, well, it's acting up. But what you got to do, guys, is you click on here, your first one, and then make sure you turn on the Wi-Fi 6 part. Where it says WPA3. Make sure you turn that on and then you'll be good to go. And then let's see here. I'll show you something guys too, just because the the model number is a little different than what I told you on the beginning. So oh my gosh. I'm so sorry guys. I, I'm trying to to figure this out right now without showing too much of the information. But you guys see the little light right there it tells you your signal bars and that it's connected to Wi-Fi. So you're good to go. And then here it's loading right now. And I'll show you guys the model number and then we'll do some quick test and we'll see what it does. So there you guys go. So the model, the actual model number is WNC-CR200A. Make sure you give them that. Alright. So now let's get into the the thing that everybody wants to see the speed test is it capped at 300 by 20. Hold on, let me change the server real quick. Let me put a Verizon server, say here. And there you go, 27 ping, 7 jitter. And yes, it is, guys. Unfortunately, yes, it is. They're only going to give you that 300. Oh wow, 300 down. You could see it wants to go faster, but somehow it's being limited. Three hundred by nineteen point seven. We'll do one more. Well, let's see here. Thirty ping, seven jitter. See, it tries to go to five hundred, but then it gets it's bottleneck. Connected to Wi Fi 6E, so it's not that 294. 
by 20.4 now let's check the fast make sure the video the video is uncapped do i even have the fast app on here oh wow no i do not guys so i gotta download that real quick let's see here i do not have it let's see here enter where the hell is it it's not on here no more fast.com there you go Oh, they don't have fast.com on the Android no more? Nope, they sure don't. It's okay. We'll just do it this way. Fast. Uh, oh, oh, God, I hate Android keyboards. They're horrible. Well, there you go. Your fast is uncapped, guys. So that'll give you about 340. We'll test it again. Just to make sure. See, it peaks. It tries to go 600, 500, 600, but it won't let it. 320. So there you guys go, guys. So my first impressions with this unit. It's a nice unit, don't get me wrong. The dimensions are right. Also, guys, the antennas are right here on the left, right side, and back. So what you want to do is face this against your window or against somewhere where you're going to have it. You want it facing the tower site area. And this front part doesn't matter because there's nothing in front of here. It has good cooling. So far, it's not hot. But yeah, it's a pretty decent unit, guys. If you don't care about 300 by 20, you know, it'll give or take a little bit. It's a decent unit. Other than that, if you're blessed to have millimeter wave around you or something, I would just get the LV65. But if that's not an option, this is not bad. This is bad. I think this is better than the Cube. So far, it's working great. All right, you guys let me know in the comment section down below what else you guys want me to do with this unit, testing-wise. Do you want me to compare it with one of the other units? You guys let me know. All right, thank you guys. Remember to hit that thumbs like up button again. Be greatly appreciated, and we're going to catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you're always notified when we upload content. Have a great one. Peace.